In Ontario, a landlord is not allowed to evict a tenant simply to re-rent at a higher rate. If a renter feels that's why they've been asked to leave their rental home, there are steps they can take both before and after the tenancy ends. Bad faith eviction is a notice that is given uh, in bad faith, or in other words, like for not truthful or non-legal purposes. So we are seeing this happening in Ontario as we've seen how rents are skyrocketing. Tenant lawyer Dania Majid says she's seen various versions of bad faith evictions. So in some instances, a purchaser or a landlord who has a building with a long sitting tenant might say, I want this tenant out. Uh, so I can make some cosmetic changes to the unit and then re-rent the unit for much higher rents. We also see retaliation. So tenants who have complained about maintenance and repair issues, for example, to the landlord. The landlord's like, you know what, this is a troublesome tenant. I'm going to just say I'm moving in or I'm selling the unit to get that tenant out. If a tenant suspects bad faith, Majid says they can collect evidence and exercise their right to have a hearing before the landlord and tenant board. Bring the evidence of, you know, that example of retaliation or the skyrocketing rents. If, you know, if the landlord has already asked them to increase the rent illegally uh, above the, the uh, rent control guidelines, they can bring all that evidence to the hearing to explain, you know, I've complained about these uh, repair issues. Uh, I refuse to pay an additional $200 in rent and try to build that case to show, you know what, that maybe this is a bad faith eviction. Right. Um, and in some instances, tenants succeed, and in, unfortunately, in many instances, tenants don't. If after the hearing, the tenant receives an eviction order from the LTB, they can file a request for review in case of any errors and then escalate with an appeal at divisional court. If all options are exhausted and the tenant must leave, Majid says to keep an eye out on rental websites if they still suspect bad faith. A month later, they see their unit being marketed on Kijiji or some other platform for, you know, double the rent. That is a good evidence to show, you know what, I might have been evicted for bad faith. In that case, the tenant has up to a year to file a T5 form with the board, an application to determine if the landlord issued a notice of termination in bad faith. In that application, a tenant can ask for uh, a whole series of remedies. So it can be financial remedies, it could be general compensation for the, I would say, the indignity and the trauma of being evicted from your home in bad faith. Uh, and they can also ask for a remedy called reinstatement. So they can ask the landlord and tenant board to put them back into their unit that they were illegally evicted from, even if that unit is occupied. Now there's also the option for the tenant to negotiate a settlement with the landlord in what's called a cash for keys deal, avoiding the landlord and tenant board route entirely. We've got more on that on our website, citynews.ca. For City News, I'm Dilshad Berman.